We don't go away because we're taking a trip to the shops. Our destination is Trowbridge, where these people are hoping to breathe new life into the town centre. Just around the corner in one of the town's grandest buildings, we meet more people trying to make a difference. Simon and Carey Tesla snapped up Parade House for a bargain at auction and have transformed it from derelict wreck to boutique wedding venue. You can even hire their ballroom out for afternoon tea and a little light dancing in Regency dress, if you wish. Experiences the internet can never provide. And if you fancy something more modern, they've used their grant to create an underground bar and cinema. The fact that we're doing it with support from Wiltshire is good for Wiltshire Council. It's good for the Future, future High Streets Fund um, concept. It's very good for Trowbridge because we're showing what can be done with that money. It, we're showing that all these you know, empty properties which litter this part of, of Trowbridge there is enormous potential for them to be converted and to be turned into something else. And the thing that I'm saying to a lot of people is, you know, it's not just us. You can't have a party for just one person. This is going to work when all the other buildings as well regenerate, when there are restaurants and bars and so on. You know, we don't want to be the only bar. We don't want, really want to be the only screening room cinema. We want people to realise that you can come into the centre of Trowbridge and there's something to do in the evening rather than you having to go stay in Bath if you're working there or go into Bradford or whatever. People of Trowbridge want something in their own town. The, I mean, the Future High Street Fund has, has, you know, has been instrumental in getting everybody in Trowbridge geared up to thinking that Trowbridge could be a better place yet again and go back to its original sort of roots of being... We are the county town of Wiltshire and we need to show people and we need to bring people in from outside Trowbridge and not just from Bath and Bradford and Froome or whatever, but, you know, from London as well. Kerry mentioned Froome, um, which was very low 15 years ago and it's shown it's through regenerated so exactly fast. it's shown what can be done by people coming in with a little bit of money to to spend and to develop and to invest in the town so if the overriding feeling in trowbridge is one of a once mighty town now on life support there are some who passionately believe the glory days will still come back <laughs>